We visited the National Trust, the Croft Castle, and this is what happened and what we got up to. This is the castle play area, not far from the entrance. The two younger kids absolutely loved playing on this. Um, they do recommend that it's only up to the age of 12, but it's lots of fun. And they were quite excited that they played in a castle. So that was definitely a winner. It's really big as well. This is on our way to the nature play area. Um, unless there is another route that we didn't know about, it isn't wheelchair friendly as you get further along. Um, you'd be okay with a push chair if it was like an off-road push chair, but there's um, tree roots in the ground that are a struggle to get over with a wheelchair. But we did notice once we got there, there was people coming up from the other end. So there could be a different route that we didn't know about. And here you see me struggling. It is quite a walk to the nature play area. Um, I think it probably took us about 15 minutes. So if you feel like you're getting lost, you're probably not. It is just quite a long walk. And we finally made it. We didn't know what this was. But then we found the nature play area. There's two of these swings, one here and one flip down. The kids absolutely love them. There is picnic tables throughout the sites in different areas. If you wanted to bring your own food and drink. This is a little activity they had for children and adults to do at the nature play area. This is like the upper nature play area part and this is the lower bit of the play area. They didn't push each other that hard in the swings. Um, I sped it up for the video, just in case you were wondering. So yeah, this is the um, like lower play area part. And now we're going back to the castle. We went during the summer holidays, so we had activities on the ground um, outside throughout. So the kids did some of those on our way to the castle. Um, there is signposts throughout, so you know where you're going. And there's always staff about to ask as well. This was one of the activities that they'd set out for the summer holidays. found the big gold apple. This is the castle. And this is a quick tour of everything inside the castle. It really is beautiful and you know there's something for all ages so it's great if you've got children of varied ages. If you have a National Trust Pass, obviously the admission is free and the car park is free. I'll try and put the details below um, of National, the, National Trust Pass, the National Trust website and um, the current pass costs. They do individual passes, family passes, lifetime passes um, you can pay monthly or annually for an individual or family pass 
um, lifetime passes don't have the option to pay monthly or annually you have to pay for that all in one go we've had a national trust pass for quite a few years now and I actually worked out the other day that the amount I've spent in the last eight years on national trust passes I'd only be one or two years off being able to fund a lifetime pass um, so it's definitely if you're going to use it regularly it's definitely worth considering putting some money aside each month to save up for a lifetime one um, and they also do like a youth pass for people age I think it's 16 to 25 or 18 to 25 um, but yeah that was another game they had set up and this is on our way back to the car